last ride on the new bike and who better to share it with than Tony Fawcett himself. Hey. It has been so long since we rode bikes together, we cannot remember the last time we rode bikes together. But yeah. today is the day, out on the road bikes, towards the Pennines, bit moist. It's as humid as Hawaii. Similar conditions, I would say. Almost identical. In fact, true story, Black Hole Mill that we're approaching now is twinned with Hawaii. True facts. Fake news. <laughs> Aiming for two or three hours, make sure the bike's all working because we've got a very important trip coming up. Uh, so far, so good. I don't know if my bar tape's gonna stay white even till the end of this ride though. No. It's kind of sad. It's not particularly very northern, is it? No. <laughs> I'll sort you one, Izzy, so... All my training has made me less fit, Tony. Well, you couldn't pick the worst route to come on. <laughs> what, only climbs? But, like, yeah. It's like the hardest route. Like, I literally never come across this way because it's either up or down. Oh. I only come on my own when I want to batter myself. I would never come. There's only you stupid enough to, like, I like it's, going this way. My head's cold. Because you had a haircut. It's a hard haircut. The mullet has been trimmed. It was more aero on the sides, but then creates turbulence at the back, which makes you faster. faster. Yeah, yeah. Been aero testing in Hawaii, so I know all about it. Turbulator, that's what that is. All about the CDA. Big socks. Bigger the socks, lower the CDA. Tony, I'm scared that we're in the Pennines and we have as strong of a tailwind as we do. It does not bode well for on the way home. I'll just ride back here, Francis, it's all right. Oh, is it all right there? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Tony's just shouted at me to tell me there's something interesting. Oh, oh, that is good. It's like proper Game of Thrones shit, isn't it? They look real though, don't they? Yeah. Taller than you. <laughs> Classic bit of northern action that isn't it? Bit of HP sauce. Nice little cafe stop, full belly, perfect to ride up a massive hill to get home. Like and subscribe to Tony Fawcett, link down below! <laughs> well heavy. Do you know it's clean? Uh, it looks clean. This is the reason I've got white bar tape. Ooh. Top secret, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to show these on camera. These are prototype bags from Tailfin R&D division, which I'm part of. They are gonna help massively with the trip. Zip. Another one. So the conclusion from this morning's ride is that the bike rides really well. A bar tape is no longer white though. It's really nice having the perfect width bar. These are 40 centimeters. The other one had 42 centimeters on. We're a little bit too wide. I guess you could argue it was quite nice when you were doing more gnarly gravel descents around here, but in reality, the right width is always gonna be better. My other bike choice for this trip was gonna be the Scott Foil, the new one that I've been riding for the last few weeks. And frankly, after riding this, I'm glad I'm gonna be on this one. The tops of the handlebars on here, the gravel bike, are rounded and they're definitely more comfortable than the aero ones on the Scott Foil. That's not to say that's not a problem when you're racing, it's gonna be faster, but on this, yeah, for this kind of trip, comfort over speed. Other good reason to ride this frame is because there is more space in between the handlebars and the tire, because it's got a bigger head tube, so you can fit a bar bag in much more easily without scuffing the bottom which I have done on quite a few other bike trips. Ideally, when you're on a cycling trip, you don't want to wear a hole in the bottom of your bags and all of your stuff fall out into the road. Finally, we've got some extra mounting options as well. So there's threads on the top of this frame and underneath the down tube here, which means if you want to, you can fit proper cargo cages mounted underneath that you can strap things to, or an extra bottle cage, or a fidlock, or anything you want really. And as I've mentioned before, I need to carry as much stuff as possible on this bike because I'm carrying not just for me. The only negative that I can think of from this morning's ride is that the gaps in between the cassette, the jumps in between each gear are really big because this is like the, what do they call it? 
mullet to ram red eagle mix. You basically got a mountain bike cassette on the back, massive range, but when you are changing gear, the jump's quite big. So you end up at the wrong cadence if you're trying to keep up with the person next to you at exactly the same speed. Uh, you wouldn't want a road race on something like this, but I have an inkling when we get going on this trip, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. If I had unlimited group set parts here, I would probably put a double on and a smaller cassette, but I don't. So we're gonna have a go with this and I'll report back. All in all though, extremely comfortable. Everything seems to fit, everything seems to work. And it's a nice, slightly more relaxed position than on the aero bike upstairs. And just in time for the trip, Stoker have released some energy bars. Regular viewers of this channel will know that this company is run by my friend Christian. Previously, they did gels, carb mix, salts, that kind of stuff. And finally, they have released an energy bar, which is a really good thing for me because I didn't really fancy just eating carb mix all the way across. Oh, it's like a chocolate bar, not a rice crispy bar with chocolate on it. If you want some of these, you can get 25% off your first purchase with the link that's down below. This is a sponsored bit. I hope I don't end up eating all three boxes of these before we go. Date, almond, sea salt. These are the ones you want. 